Protesters in Fort Lauderdale chanted, shame on you, referring to U.S. lawmakers and President Donald Trump. He said last year he would, never, infringe on the right to keep arms. Suspect Nicholas Cruz has admitted carrying out the attack at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, in which 17 people died. It was the deadliest U.S. school shooting since 2012 and has reignited long-running debates about tougher firearm restrictions. In his first public comments on the gun control issue since the attack, Mr. Trump blamed the Democrats for not p. arsing legislation when they controlled Congress during the early years of Barack Obama's administration. Who are the victims? A school shooting comes to paradise. What happened at Saturday's rally? Students and the parents, as well as politicians, took part in the event in Fort Lauderdale, close to Parkland. Thousands of people attended, according to the Associated Press. Arguably the Moss. T memorable moment came when high school student Emma Gonzalez took to the podium and attacked the U.S. president and other politicians for accepting political donations from the National Rifle Association, NRA. A powerful gun rights lobby group. Image caption zone young protesters cried as they demanded more restrictions on gun ownership. If the president wants to come up to me and tell me to my face that it was a terrible tragedy and how nothing is going to be done about it, I'm going to happily ask him how much money he received from the National Rifle Association, said Ms. Gonzalez. It doesn't matter because I already know. $30 million, the 18-year-old said, referring to donations during Mr. Trump's presidential campaign. To every politician who is taking donations from the NRA, shame on you, said Ms. Gonzalez, who took cover on the floor of her secondary school's auditorium during the attack. Responding to her passionate speech, the crowd started chanting, shame on you. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, the NRA spent $11.4 million, 8.1 million pounds, supporting Mr. Trump in the 2016 campaign, and $19.7 million opposing Hillary Clinton. Image caption Wednesdays at AC was the deadliest U.S. school shooting since 2012. Ryan Deach, who was among those hiding in a school toilet during the attack, urged lawmakers to pass more restrictive measures on gun ownership. The least lawmakers can do is vote on something. What's the worst that can happen? The 18-year-old said. Protesters also held placards that read, no more guns. And, enough. Because of these gun laws people I love have died said Delaney Tarr, a 17-year-old student. Was the common sense in that? People are dying every day. Florida shooting, a survivor's story Trump reassures U.S. gun owners. What is Mr. Trump's stance on gun control? In a tweet late on Saturday, the Republican president accused the Democrats of not acting on gun legislation, when they have both the House and Senate during the Obama administration. Because they didn't want to, and now they just talk. He wrote, referring to criticism from Democrats following Wednesday's shooting. Mr. Trump, who on Friday met S. Irvivers of the attack, earlier blamed the shooter's mental health. The president's views on gun control have shifted over time. In recent years, he has pledged to fiercely defend the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which protects people's right to keep and bear arms. Last year, he told an NRA convention he would, never, ever infringe, on that right. The eight-year assault on your SECO. ND amendment freedoms has come to a crashing end, he said. Saturday's rally coincided with a gun show in Florida. Hundreds of people attended the event at the Dade County Fairgrounds, despite calls to cancel it. I don't believe that any law that they would have added would have deterred what happened, former law enforcement officer Joe Arrington was quoted as saying by Reuters. I think. A lot of agencies didn't do the job necessarily like they were supposed to. What do we know about the suspect? Mr. Cruz, 19, is a former student at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. He was S. reportedly investigated by local police and the Department of Children and Family Services in 2016 after posting evidence of self-harm on the Snapchat app, according to the latest U.S. media reports. Child Services said he had planned to buy a gun, but authorities determined he was already receiving adequate support, the reports say. The reports come after the Federal Bureau of Investigation, F. By, admitted it did not properly follow up on a tip-off about Mr. Cruz last month. The 5th of January tip was not the only information the FBI received. In September, a Mississippi man reported to the law enforcement agency.